<laughs> no autofocus, you stupid thing. Hey everyone, this is Whitehawk, and I've got my Switch set up, ready to play Breath of the Wild. I've been living under a rock for the last two months, so beyond that trailer where Zelda cried or something like that, I don't know anything about this game. I've never played it before, I'm going in completely blind, and a new update is available. Let's download it right now. Hey, <laughs> almost done. Just two more percent. Also, the console takes a long time to charge. Jeez, it's been at like 55% this entire time. Hmm, I don't really intend on ever carrying the Switch around, to be honest. Yes, I am White Hawk. Yay. Finally, I get to play this game. I'm actually not that hyped up, but that's only because I don't know much about it. Man, I sure am glad that I <laughs> that my Wii U is not plugged in right now. I will plug it in again if I can figure out how to do it, but uh, it, it's so much cleaner. The stand, the stuff behind, beneath my TV right now. So much cleaner. Gonna have to raise the sound for this. Mm-hmm. They're open. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Ah, oh, for a second there, I thought he was completely naked. There'll probably be mods for that, eventually. Also, oh, this is definitely a Wii U game. You can kind of tell that they've spent a long time working on this. Oh, now I'm noticing that there's a, quite a style to it, though. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. Maybe 20 minutes? Also, I probably, like, will only play in, like, one long session and then... Cut the video into multiple parts. It seems to be a thing I'll be doing quite commonly. At the very least, I'll be playing until like uh, <laughs> this thing runs out of battery power. Don't know how long it's gonna last. Should last a long time. So I'm just gonna start playing right there. Yeah. Camera is right control. It's uh, kind of slow. I can also check the controls right here. Options. Okay, I can't use Amiibo right now. I don't actually have any of the um, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild Amiibos. I should probably get some when I can. Yeah, I want Pro. Yeah, fast. Okay, that should be good. Save. Yeah, this is much better. And I've set the HUD to Pro, so the screen will should be clean most of the time. I've heard that in docked mode, uh, this game has some massive frame drops. I don't know if I care enough about that. That is a Sheikah slate. You don't Take say. It. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Take it, Link. Lonk. Kind of wish I could call him something else, but no, now we got voice acting. His name always has to be Link this time. Oh, also there's a season pass. I haven't gotten that yet. Uh, I definitely want that. I should be able to, like, buy it through the game itself. If not that, then through the eShop. Uh, just getting used to the controls right now. B to run. And X to jump. Y is to use an item that I'm carrying, which I don't have right now. I can also pick up pretty much everything around me. 
Well worn trousers. Press this. Clip this. And an old shirt. Gonna put it on right now. Yay. Basic armor, but still armor. Um. Yeah, the way Link moves is a little awkward, but I can see what they were doing. I can see they were, they were trying to put like uh, some momentum to Link's movements. So it's he's a little slippery, basically. To the pedestal. That will show you the way. I don't have a Wii U gamepad and I'm using this thing. It's not immersive. It's not the way Miyamoto wanted us to do it. Or Aonuma. Yeah, it is a bit disappointing. I, I was considering getting the Wii U version because uh, this game was kind of made around the Wii U gamepad. Just uh, It took so long for them to bring it out that uh, they decided, oh, nope, gotta put it on a new console so the new console can sell and people can enjoy it at 900 pixels per 900p. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Um, I imagine some people wish I would be playing this in uh, other languages. I could play it in French, because I am French myself, but I'll stick to English. Because why not? Climb, climb, climb. I like the stamina meter. I don't, I don't, I do not understand people who do not like the stamina meter. This is a cutscene. I can't move. Nintendo lied to me. They said I could do whatever I wanted at all times. But no, some people actually want cutscenes. So yeah, apparently the trailers I've seen, it was only like 1% of the entire world. That sounds amazing. Also means this playthrough is going to be very, very long. Definitely won't be able to beat this game in one weekend, that's for sure. Unless I play for like um, 64 hours or something. Maybe. Anyway, it seems I have to go over there. There's even an old man waiting for me. Well, I'll go in the complete opposite direction because that's just how I am. Mm-hmm. I've got a stick! Monsters don't stand a chance against me. Huh. Okay, so pressing right on this thing does this, and can I take pictures? I want to see. Pins. What the hell are pins and what are they for? Huh, maybe I'll find out later. Build a mushroom to heal myself. Oh yeah, apparently there's going to be a hard mode as DLC at some point. Probably. I can climb down. Let's try it! Should be able to make it. No, I'm not going to make it. Better play it safe. Just, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want in this game. It's not like Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword or your favorite Zelda. This game is awesome. That's the difference. Okay. Wow, running takes a lot of energy out of Link. I'm surprised. <sighs> yeah, speaking of Skyward Sword, I kind of miss uh, the... <laughs> 1-1 one, one motion plus uh, swinging. I don't care what everyone thinks. It was awesome. Even though it wasn't perfect, it was still immersive. Okay, it says X to climb, but I can just walk up to some uh, places and I'll do it automatically. That's better that way, I feel. But, uh, you know, buttons and stuff. I'm just looking around. I, I know I'm wasting time. I'm just, <laughs> this is the point of this game. You're supposed to explore. Just enjoy your own. Link. Yeah. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. You don't. <laughs> hey, listen. Nintendo lied to us. 
Yeah, objectives. Don't need to know about this stuff. Gotta go over here. What's this? Shrine of Resurrection. Oh, yeah, you can fast travel, by the way. Ah, ha, ha. This is definitely not the whole map now, is it? No, I think this is just like the, the plateau itself. And it's only like 1%. Hmm. Fire. Ooga booga fire. Yeah, definitely unique fire effects are there. It works like a torch. It's badly damaged, you don't say. I want those things. A baked apple, wow! I, I was actually going for that. That's cool. And, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, fire, fire. Crouching. How do I crouch? Yep, yeah, holding down the left control stick. Hopefully sneaking is as overpowered as it is in uh, <laughs> Skyrim. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just right there. Uh-huh. Bye. <laughs> no, I was going to say, who are you? Mm hmm. I think he's Ganondorf. Wow, really? How come it is I can say bye at all times? <laughs> Reminds me of a pretty uh, controversial game from a long time ago. Oh, yeah, in case anyone's wondering, no, there's not voice acting for every single line. Just for several cutscenes in Zelda. I don't mind that yeah, that it's that way. Ooh. Hundreds of years ago? No, but just 100 years ago. That's all? That's all you had to say? Well, anyway. Let's eat a baked apple. Hmm. Not at full health, but close enough. Ooh, this looks nice. A woodcutter's axe. But it's a slow, inefficient weapon. Just, it looks more intimidating than uh, the <laughs> stick. What's over here? Uh, more apples, if I want. I saw what you did there, game. Quick save. Because of the monsters. God damn it, I could have sneaked up on them. Bye. Oh, he's coming up. Yeah, I know it's badly damaged. Yeah, I can interrupt him. Can I punch? Okay, I need a, another weapon. Start, 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 start. Yes. Time for some pain, bud. Uh, what's the button? <laughs> Why? Ah! Ah! Die! Die! This is my weapon now. Ugh. What's this? A codlin horn. And a shield. Oh no, it's a pot lid. But it works as a shield. Already equipped. Thank you. Let's heal ourselves right now. For food. And yeah, let's bother the other uh, bokoblins. I'm liking this uh, different combat. It's more fun this way. They actually notice us pretty easily, by the way. What is he doing? This is just celebrating or trying to hit a butterfly. Yeah, okay. I need a bow and arrow. Or a book with spear. Hmm. Probably a better weapon than what I've got right now. Oh no, it can uh, break over time. 
Hmm. It's for cooking. Fair enough. Yeah, I want to attack the one with the weapon. Oh, he, he noticed me that quickly. Really? Nice try. Ugh. I like how the other one picked up uh, his friend's weapon. Throw my weapon, huh? I can't throw this weapon, but I can throw the spears. Oh, okay, so that's why they've got this uh, other thing to them. That what? <laughs> Damn it! That's not what I want to do. Do I have to go into the menu every time I want to change weapons? I don't think so, but uh, there's got to be a way to do this more efficiently. Damn it! Okay, I'm too close to throw something at him. Way too close. Jeez. Might as well just use the attack button. I'm sorry if I'm kind of suck right now, but uh, <laughs> it's currently what I'm doing. I'm trying to learn the controls and stuff. That it? Could have just attacked him like that. It would have been way easier. Sacred steak. Yes. Okay, let's sheet our weapon. Or I guess I can't do that. <laughs> um. Yeah, I want the woodcutter's axe. Looks way cooler. And I'm probably gonna freeze to death if I go over there. So let's go back to the church. Or cathedral. Whatever it was. I, I wasn't paying attention to that old guy's uh, um, uh, what he was saying. Part of the problem is that uh, you're like uh, talking or recording yourself uh, for everyone to see you and you kind of want to entertain the viewer but it has a price, you know. Your attention span is not as great as it used to be. Is that a sword? Temple of Time? Seriously? Well, it's definitely in a state of decay. I need to heal myself again. Did I take some fall damage? I probably didn't notice that that's the case. It looks like a stick, not a sword. Well. Okay, no damage from falling like that, even though I probably should have taken some damage. Can I sink? Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, let's climb up here. So I can only swim for a short time, huh? It's neat. <laughs> a rusty broadsword. It's the wooden sword! Let's equip it. Yep. The once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. Mm. That's disappointing. Looks better than the axe, that's for sure. Although I imagine some people will really like the fact that you can play a uh, Legend of Zelda game using whatever weapon you want. And goodness gracious, swimming takes a lot out of Link. I'm guessing there's gonna be uh, Zora flippers or something like that at some point that will make swimming so much more manageable. Okay, so... Let's go inside the temple, which is probably what y'all wanted me to do 10 minutes ago. <laughs> That's a dangerous thing, but it looks broken down. Ancient shaft. It may come in handy someday. This looks like there should be an entrance right there, but I guess not. I'm gonna have to go back here with the Ocarina of Time or something. I don't know anything about that where this game places in the timeline, by the way. I don't care about that stuff. They, it's pretty like I would care more about the timeline if it was a different main character every game. But no, they just keep reusing blonde uh, Peter Pan ripoff every time. Well, from what I've heard, uh, DLC. Well, there's like gonna be an extra uh, DLC with a expanded story or side story. Maybe we'll play as a different character in that. Playable Zelda, maybe? Or Impa. Impa would be nice. Don't know if, she, if she's in this game, though. It would be a nice surprise if she is. In a good design. What's this? It's nothing. It just looks ugly. Like, 
Where is the grass and well I mean just show that the, the grass is growing out of the thing. Need to get used to the control still by the way. I keep pressing uh, L for blocking when it's actually ZL and when I was trying to throw my weapon earlier I kept pressing ZR even though it's actually um, R, R I think. Yeah, don't want to do that. Why do I shoot my weapon? You just press a different button, I guess. Oh, it's the goddess statue from Skyward Sword. Hi! Do you need my help? Oh, I pray. <laughs> I thought I was playing something. Well, anyway, this does not appear to be where I was supposed to go, right? Where's my map? Yeah, right here. I've got to go to the Sheikah Slate. Oh, and another Guardian. Hmm, they're everywhere. They're also very powerful. Apparently, they cause like six hearts of damage every hit. Ooh. Hmm. Seems there's a book hoblin camp right up there. Really wish I had my bow and arrow right now. Or some makeshift uh, other uh, ranged weapon of some sort. Besides throwing my stuff, you know, that's a one time thing. Even though I'm gonna get a ton of weapons while uh, playing this game. Hmm. Let's check our map again. Okay, we have an adventure log in case we want to remind ourselves of what the story is. Oh, and actually, there was a cutscene player, wasn't there? Memories. Okay. 18 memories. Hmm. Fair enough. Is he going to notice me? No, he will not. I should be able to make this jump. As long as I don't <laughs> jump off uh, over there instead. Actually, the fall damage will probably kill me. Oh, I forgot that! <laughs> I forgot that there's an actual jump button in this game. It's not automatic. Oh, that was too close. Thank goodness for auto climbing, huh? Of course, there's nothing here, so... I wasted my time. Yeah, I'm gonna take out that book hoblin. He's bothering me. I'm gonna wait for him to look the other way. And what the hell? Apparently there's many more book hoblins. Ooh. I kinda like that. That they were being shown as a uh, question marks. That's that was neat. Oh, but I guess they're all, they all. Uh, I could only like uh, see them move around because uh, they were they heard me. That's neat. If that's the case. A little more. Haha. <laughs> yeah, of course it's badly damaged, but I took caught that goblin by surprise. Now his friends are still inside, and I need to do something here. Something epic. At least I could if I had a slingshot or something. Hmm. Well, no, actually, yeah, I can aim like this. Damn it. <laughs> Didn't want to throw it. Still. Oh, Bokobo. Cool, cool, cool. So, do I have ammo? I think I do. Okay, so. Can't throw it. I need to. Um. 
yeah, I, I have to do this. I just don't have any ammo right now. So, um, let's switch back to, yeah, a torch. This'll do. Damn it! Momentum! This did not work out in my favor at all. If only I had ammo with me. Oh, there's some over there. Damn it. <laughs> right? Arrows? Stuff? Yes. Good enough. I didn't notice it. I'm sorry. <laughs> First time playing. I'm enjoying myself. You all forgive me, right? Um. Do not notice me. Please. Thank you. How do I do this? Yeah. Do I have to do it multiple times? Or do I have to hit the rope? Yes! Why aren't they blowing up? I guess I have to... Of course, just because I fire an arrow to that red barrel, that doesn't mean it's gonna explode. The arrow has to be on fire. Anyway, they noticed me. Time to fight them. The real way. Just need to give myself a weapon. This. This will do. I know. I see you. Ow. Come on. Yeah, I see that they're hurting me. Wow, he's got a lot of health. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to do something with the, the barrels and stuff, but uh, I failed, unfortunately. Okay. Spiked Boko Shield. Okay, so I have to hold... The left button on the left controller. That, that's wha how you change shields. Oh, wow. That killed me in one hit? <laughs> well, not one hit. I was at half health. Just, I wasn't expecting him to deal so much damage. Jeez. Well, first game over. Seriously, I'm back here. <laughs> Uh, well, that's fall damage for y'all. Wasn't that bad. Okay, I can whistle by pressing uh, down on the control pad. And yeah, it's the right button. If I want to change weapons real quick. Okay, I'm going to be much more MLG from now on. I could also just ignore the enemies. That's probably the wiser idea. Ah, oh, it was not... Sp <laughs> because it was moving around, that's why. That's why there was no explosions. Okay. We learn by our mistakes. This guy's still fine, though. But he's still dumb as well! Critical hit! Um, His sword is on fire. But he's almost dead. Except not really, because I have to change weapons. This is better. Yeah, they... they Need to take his weapon. Spiked Boko Club. Mm hmm. No wonder it was dealing so much damage. Awesome. Got a pretty powerful weapon early on. And now I can open this treasure chest for some reason. I didn't even know it was there, but thanks to this cutscene, now I do. 
That kind of bothers me, to be honest. I kind of wish there wasn't a cutscene to show that, hey, there's this chest right there. Also, uh, another bow. Hmm. Well, in case <laughs> my other one breaks, it's going to be another one. Fire arrows. Wow. Well, maybe they'll be useful at some point. Um, yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. Hope you've all enjoyed this video. This <laughs> Hope you've all enjoyed my current experience with this game so far. And I'll have a very nice day. Next time, hopefully, I'll actually get something done. As in, something story-related. Bye-bye.